Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Isai and I post law, law school related videos, travel vlogs, and basically random videos. Today's video is going to be part 2 of my bar exam experience series and it's going to be hashtag interview. Last year, 2016, I did an interview with two of the 2015 bar exam passers, Attorney Dulay and Attorney Estepona. This year, I'm going to be doing the same thing, interviewing some of the 2016 bar exam passers. But first, of course, I'm going to start with myself. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, my name is Isai, but my real name is Clarissa Rivera. I am 27 years old. I finished or I took my pre-law at the University of Santo Tomas College of Nursing. I graduated last 2011 and then went straight to the Faculty of Civil Law in the same university. I stayed in the University of Santo Tomas Faculty of Civil Law for two and a half years and then I transferred to Arellano University School of Law in um, the second sem of my third year. And then I graduated from that same school last year, 2016. After that, I took the bar exams in 2016, and yeah. right now, I'm working for a private firm. How would I describe myself as a law student? Um, I'm, I would consider myself mixed. I'm either very, very focused or very lazy. I'm both. I realized that I'm the type of person who needs a motivating factor or a motivator to keep me going. Like, for example, during my first year, first sem in law school, I felt really pressured during that time because I was gonna take the July board exams for nurses. I'm gonna be entering law school at the same time, like June of 2011. Nursing is totally different from law school. During my days in nursing school, I didn't really read so much books. I don't. I don't love reading, and yon. I just don't like reading before. Totally different from what I'm used to. Because in law school, of course, you have to do a lot of reading, and I'm not used to that. The, the environment is really different. Like the, your study habits during nursing and during law school is really different. So I felt pressured that I had to adapt to a new environment. However, um, because I felt that pressure, I feel like I was able to perform better because of that pressure. However, no, when I realized that ah, I can do it naman pala, like law school, I can, I can manage law school, I, I became more lax, um, lazy. First year, second sem, up to probably my last semester in USD. I was I would consider myself lazy and I didn't really do my best. Parang ganun yung how I see myself. When I transferred to Arellano, syempre it was a difficult time for me. During that time, I pushed myself more. I think I was able to um, perform better than I did before. Ups. Siguro I would consider my ups in law school as those moments na I was able to pass the subjects under their professors like Attorney Bronjal, Attorney Uribe, and Attorney Natsura, um, Dean Divina. I felt really happy na I was able to conquer my fears and syempre graduation. Hanggang ngayon actually, I still can't believe that I've already graduated, na I've finished taking the bar exams and na yo natapos na. Pero parang hindi. I, I still don't feel that way. Downs. Probably the time when um, I failed my first subject, civil procedure, during my th second year, second semester. For some colleges kasi, it's not usual that you um, like fail subjects, I think. Parang sa law school kasi it's very, hindi ko naman masasabing normal, pero nangyayari siya talaga. Although, dun sa experience din na yun, parang na-realize ko na hindi nagmamatter kung mag-fail ka or what. Pero kung paano mo i-assess yung situation, how you 
make yourself better and para mas magawa mo yung better mo. Siguro, another down would be transferring from UST to Aralliano. Kasi syempre, all of my friends were in law school. Uh, UST law, yung ganas in the morning, my friends, ganon. So, parang bago na naman. It's another chapter, another time to adjust sa environment. Pero, the good thing about yung sa mga downs is, alam mo yun, na-push na mo pa rin yung sarili mo pa up. So, yun. Yun na. Alright, so just the disclaimer before we start with the question, how did I prepare myself for the bar exams? Disclaimer, this video or this entire video is based on my experience, experiences as a law student, as a bar examinee. I'm not in any way telling that this is the right way to prepare for the bar exams because I know that I had a lot of shortcomings sa aking preparation for the bar exams. However, this video is based on reality. And sa susunod na video that I'm gonna be preparing for the bar exam experience part 3, I will be sharing more on sa details na what if kunwari hindi ako pumasa ng bar exams, ano yung babaguhin ko or ano yung dadagdagan ko, saan ko tingin ako nagkulang. So, more on that in my next video. I did my formal bar review sa UP Law. I enrolled myself sa UP Law. It costs, I think, 15000 para sa review. Tapos, yung Chan Robles online review. I think if you um, register, parang meron silang mga qualifications for early registration. Tapos, mas mura yung babayaran mo kapag dun sa advanced na pag-review or pag-register sa online review ng... Chan Robles. Yes! Okay, so before I go to my routine, I would like to give the pros and cons dun sa dalawang review schools or re formal review na ginawa ko. First, for the UP Law. Ang pros ng UP Law for me is, number one, open spaces, maganda yung surroundings, ang daming, alam mo yun, daming greenery, ang daming, pa pwede ka maglakad-lakad kapag nasa stress out ka na sa pagbabasa. Um, atmosphere at the library is also good. Parang, yung, ang sa akin, what I really appreciated dun sa environment ng UP Law Library is yung mga estudyante, nararamdaman mo yung para pressure nila sa pag-aaral. So, parang napapressure ka dun sa pag-aaral mo. Tapos, favorite part ko sa UP Law Library is yung second floor. Kasi, yun pa yung nare-realize ko sa sarili ko na gusto ko kapag nagre-review or nag-aaral ako, dun ako sa mga tables na um, sa isang direction lang nakaharap. Para, while you're studying, you don't see faces na, alam mo yun, basta faces. At least, isang direction lang kayo lahat. Nakikita mo lang puro likod, ganun. Yun ang gusto ko. Kaya, gusto ko yung library nila. Sa second floor lang. Kaso nga lang, mabilis mapuno yung sa second floor. Okay, another thing I like about the UP Law Review, yung library nila sa second floor has its own photocopy area na blessings. Yun yung gusto ko dun sa second floor na UP Law Library. Next, handouts. Napakaraming handouts na binibigay sa UP Law Review. Um, sa likod ng, ng ID sa UP Law Review. Wait, I'll get my ID. So, this was my ID sa UP Law Center Bar Review Institute. And, um, as you can see, sa back portion ng ID, meron silang checklist of review materials. So, this is 1 to 146. However, ako nakuha ko lang hanggang 106, which is okay lang din naman kasi ang dami na nun. Um, to be honest, I wasn't able to use all of them. Mostly, ang nagamit kong mga handouts from the bar review is yung sa legal ethics. <laughs> Yun yung pinaka nagamit ko sa kanila. At saka, although madami din doon, pati sa tax kay Attorney Abella, yun, nagamit ko siya. Um, however, madami doon ang hindi ko nagamit kasi sobrang dami. Hindi ko alam kung kaya mo nyo ding basahin yung dami na yun aside from the review materials that you are gonna use. So, yun, sobrang dami. Um, another good thing, pro sa UP Law Review, Food selection, napakaraming 
pwedeng kainan sa around UP, dun sa area 2, mura, masarap. Tapos, alam mo yun, parang nagiging leisurely na din yung walk mo to the area, which I love. Tapos, syempre, favorite ko ang 12 noon mass dun sa um, chapel near, malapit lang dun sa UP Law Review Center. Kaya parang, alam mo yun, meron kang break na ganun and you get to reflect. Every day yung mass na 12 noon dun sa UP. Tapos, um, restroom with the day. Siyempre, masaya yun. Pro yun. Kasi, alam mo yun, hindi mo alam kung kailan na call of nature, ika nga, meron silang bidet sa first floor na restroom ng babae dun sa UP, sa, ano ba yun? Malcolm Hall, Bokobo Hall? Malcolm Hall, I think. Malcolm Hall, oo, uh, sa first floor. Pagkatapos sa Bokobo Hall, basta yun sa law center mismo, sa second floor noon sa um, women's bathroom, meron din silang bidet, Which is amazing. Tapos, pro parking. Ang dami-dami mong pwedeng parkingan sa UP. Hindi tulad sa Arellano na you get stressed out dahil wala kang mong parkingan. And wala namang gusto sa atin na mag-park sa, ano mo yun, kung saan-saan na lang, diba? Yun, okay yung parking sa UP. Tapos, malapit sa bahay ni Jed, which is also a pro. Kasi, kapag nasa-stress na ako, may malapit ako mapupuntahan. Ayun, cons. Siguro, Konti lang yung cons ko, actually. Price. Yan. Price. Kasi medyo magastos din in terms of, diba, 15,000. Tapos, effort sa pagpunta kasi kung malayo sa'yo, ganyan. And siguro yung pressure din, it goes both ways. Pwede kang ma-inspire na nakaka-pressure yung mga tao sa paligid mo or ma-stress ka dahil nape-pressure sila. So, yun. Another con. Pero yun lang yung cons ko. Ang saya. Tapos, let's go to the Chan Robles. Okay, Chan Robles, pro. Well, kasi yung sister ko yung nag-register sa akin, I think it's 8,000 ata or 9,000. Tapos, it's very accessible. Kapag kahit saan ka, basta may internet connection ka, ma-access mo yung Chan Robles um, website, which is really good, lalo na sa mga malalayo. Um, good pre-week. Um, handouts. Gusto ko yung mga pre-week nila at yung mga case digests na provided dun sa mga pre-week na materials ng Chan Robles. Um, recorded. So, uh, the, the, syempre, ma-access mo online. So, recorded yung videos. Kapag may hindi ka naintindihan, kaya mong balikan. Ang daling, alam mo yun, daling balikan. Anytime, anywhere. Next. Tapos, um, easy to replay yan nga. Easy to replay as needed and you can go sa iyong pace. Hindi mo kailangan dun sa schedule maki, maki, ma, tugma. Parang kung ano yung schedule mo, go as you please. Pro, cons. Madami akong cons actually sa Chan Robles. Although parang okay na okay siya. Pero yung cons ko, yung ibang videos nila, sobrang old na. Mapapansin mo, kasi yung ibang mga professor, kilala ko doon, nung naging professor ko. Tapos, sobrang iba yung itsura nila doon sa videos, na parang kailang pa ba ito kinunan? Mapapaganun ka, pero, well, yung ibang batas naman, <clears throat> hindi naman siya madalas mapalitan din. Yun yung marilis mo. Pero, syempre, meron pa rin kasing mga bagong jurisprudence na, alam mo yun, mas maganda kung bago lahat every year sana yung videos nila, hindi sila nag-re-recycle ng videos. Kasi parang binayaran mo din naman, sana bago, ba diba? Bago, kasi may bagong jurisprudence, ganyan. Okay, another con. During start, um, I was able to access political law videos of Attorney Albano na sobrang na-enjoy ko. Sobrang gusto ko yung videos ni Attorney Albano kasi sa sobrang paulit-ulit-ulit-ulit-ulit-ulit niya ng mga sinasabi niya, mas nag e engrave sa aking utak. Na-enjoy ko yun. And then when I checked back, na-realize ko wala na yung videos ni Attorney Albano. And then when I asked Chan Robles personally, like pumunta ako sa office nila and asked bakit wala na yung videos ni Attorney Albano, they said na hindi, I think Attorney Albano did not renew yung contract with them. Parang ganun, ganun yung pagkakaintindi ko sa sinabi nila. So, pinull out nila yung video. Parang nakaka-mislead lang din kasi parang um, before ka mag-enroll, nakalist yung pangalan ng mga reviewers. Pagkatapos, as you're using it, biglang mawawala. Parang, parang andaya naman. Parang ganun na, 
bakit na-access ko dati yung hindi ko na ma-access? Yung ganon. So, I don't know if they're still doing that ngayon. Kasi syempre, hindi na naman ako nag-enroll sa kanila. Pero yun. Yun lang. Parang sobrang na-disappoint lang ako dun. Tsaka, dun sa start, kasi like, early registration, supposedly, by March 1, you, you would be able to access their site. Sa akin, parang it took a week before I was able to access their site kasi parang kailangan mo pang ipakonfirm, ganyan. Parang, yung mga ganun, parang yung mga maliliit na bagay na parang, ano ba yan? Bakit ganyan? Tip na lang din for those who are interested in taking the Chan Robles online review, early registration. Because it's cheaper. Yun. Okay. Nagsinabi. Okay, may routines throughout the bar review months. Hindi siya consistent in terms of kung saan ako nag-aaral. Kasi there were different factors that affected um, yung choice ko of location, ganyan, at saka kung, kung yun, cho choice of location, more on dun, at saka yung sa emotions ko. Okay, pero ang consistent na nangyari sa akin sa routine is that I woke up early every day, tapos, um, yun. <laughs> yun lang yung consistent pala, nakakahiya. Okay, so I would like to explain myself kung bakit ganon yung nangyari sa akin throughout the bar review. First, um, yung sa locations ko na pinagstayan, it was highly dependent on dun sa factors na, yung mga external factors at saka sa emotions ko. Kasi kapag na-feel ko na anxious ako, ayoko sa library. Kasi nakaka-anxious yung feel ng library. Mas gusto ko sa labas, sa open space, ganyan. Or magstay sa coffee shop. Parang ganun. Okay, so I started with like, for the first, siguro, two months, I stayed at the UP library. Um, gusto ko nga yung library nila, as I've mentioned. Pagkatapos, when I started feeling a little bit anxious, ang dami kong emosyon ng bar review. Sobrang dami. Mm, Nakaka-ano. Nakaka, actually, feeling ko, yun yung mas nakapastress sa akin during the bar review was yung dami ng emotion ko na very emotional, na nakakainis kasi sana nakapag-focus ako ng mas maayos. Pero ganun eh, yun yung nangyari sa akin. Um, yun yung realidad ng nangyari sa akin. For a few weeks, I studied in a coffee shop sa Starbucks, ganyan, or kung saan man, sa Matalino, ganun. Pero, eventually, I stopped studying sa coffee shop kasi ang bigat sa bulsa, ang sakit sa bulsa kasi ang gastos-gastos talaga tapos nakakagutom wala ka namang makainan na mura, na malapit and then after that I, there was a time when I went back to UP to study there however it wasn't that um, consistent na and additionally um, like latter part, siguro mga ba na September to October, my sister actually got married last October and I had to stay like sa house namin which is near to Arellano. So then I decided to study in Arellano for um, during that time, like September to October. Um, in Arellano, they had this review room uh, exclusive for alumni of alum Arellano which is really nice. Actually, I I like that room. Again, it's the same setup as the second floor of the UP Law Library. Na one direction lahat nakahara. They had yung um, water dispenser dun sa room which is a big thing para sa mga nagre-review. Kasi syempre, you want everything to be accessible to you. Tapos, meron din silang locker dun sa review room for alumni, which is, I think, a really, really good move sa Arellano to have that review room sa, sa campus. Tapos, free shop for alumni, which is really good. And you can stay in the library as well if you want. Although, sometimes, yung library kasi in Arellano gets really noisy, lalo na kapag weekends, kapag madaming students. Yun. During the time na it was really close to the bar exams like throughout November I just stayed within the area around the condo around the condo like um yun coffee shop pagkatapos I just stayed in the condo ganun I didn't really want to go far sa far places kasi parang ako na 
na babalot ka na rin ng anxiety, ng worry, ng ganon. So, I just really wanted to stay dito sa area na to. At ang consistent is yung time na dapat mag-aral, na gumising ng maaga, which I think is really important. Ang rule is, dapat gumising ng maaga, very important yun, dahil um, exams start at 8am every Sunday. So, yung time na usual ka magsa-study is yun yung time ng exam, which is 8 to 5pm. So, you have to study and be awake during that time instead of kung night owl ka, mas magandang ma-change mo na yun throughout the bar review months para at the time of the bar exams, you're ready to go. Hindi ka na mag adjust dun sa pagiging sanay mo na mag-aral kapag sa gabi. So, how many readings did you do all in all? I did two readings. I think for some subjects, I did three. Yung pangatlong reading would be the pre-week. Average, two readings, including the pre-week. So, just one reading throughout that like four months span with July, August, September, October. During the, those four months of review, one reading lang ako. I still had a social life. Trips, I went to Bohol with my family, to Cebu with my friends, to Baguio with my parents. Um, my sister got married in October. I also attended weddings sa mga friends. Yon. Weddings and out-of-town trips. I, did, I still did those. And siguro yung pinaka pang parelax ko din would be spending time with Jed. And um, since Jed's house is really near sa UP, sa UP, I usually spent yung time after ng review, like the paggabi na, with Jed and his brothers and brothers' girlfriends, sila Majo and Camille, Robbie and Eric, sila mga kasama ko, and we usually played cards, we played bridge, or we played, um, tong-its, ganon, or board games like Splendor, yun na yung pinaka, ano ko, um, relaxing time na I usually just played. I enjoy playing cards and board games. So, yun na yung pinaka alam nyo yun. Yun yung pinaka madalas, regular na sort of like social life I had during the bar review. And sometimes uh, I still went out with my high school friends, yung mga kaibigan ko. And one thing that I've realized is that I did not really like getting surrounded with other baristas or those bar examinees kasi parang ano pa pressure ako nakaka-stress and ayo ko yun tapos parang ayo I, I don't know it's just i don't want to feel the negative vibe ng syempre yung mga may na-feel the na negative emotions na stress and all that kasi i had so much of those emotions na i don't think that i can handle like listening to other people who we're feeling the same way too. Ang, ang daming, again, I was very emotional during the bar review months. It wasn't good. I don't think it was healthy, but that's so, yun yung reality talaga eh. That's what I went through and that's how I felt. How did I know I passed the bar exams? Okay, so... Um, I just finished praying. Actually, kakatapos ko lang mag-rosary nung time na yun. I was here in the room. Tapos, um, I got a call from my cousin. I actually, I didn't really know yung number ng cousin ko. Bigla lang may tumatawag na number and then I just answered it. And then, my cousin told me na kasi yung girlfriend niya was working for the Supreme Court. And I think the usual na nangyayari sa Supreme Court is that before ma-release yung list sa public, the, the list of the uh, successful bar, yung mga bar passers would um, be distributed sa mga justices ng Supreme Court. So, magkakaroon muna sila ng copy before the public. My cousin called me and told me na, Isa, ikaw lang naman yung nag-iisang Clarissa Rivera, ba? Tapos, I started crying because yung relief, my gosh, the relief I felt after hearing that I passed the bar, parang, 
<laughs> parang ganun, no? Finally. Kasi, parang yun. Tapos, sabi niya na ikaw lang naman nagigisang Clarissa si Rivera, ba diba? Sabi ko, kuya, bakit? Ako, ata, ako lang naman. Tapos, sabi niya, congrats, ganyan. Tapos, and then, initially, I did not believe that. Kasi, syempre, ang hirap pag hindi mo nababasa pa yung name mo sa list. And then, another friend called me before the list came out. And yun, na, na, parang na-confirm din niya from the Supreme Court, ganyan. And before nga ma-release yung list. So, parang na-assure na ako na totoo nga na I, I indeed passed the bar exams. And then, I was able to read my name sa listahan, sa link ng Supreme Court. And parang, alam mo yun, ang sarap. Kasi yung initial reaction or yung initial thought na pumasok sa isip ko is it's over na i mean that yung yung chapter na yun ng buhay ko is over yeah so much relief yon relief maraming ay para nakahinga na din yung buong pagkatao ko after kong malaman na i did pass the bar exam that was my initial reaction yes Tapos, syempre, nung ano na yun, what I did was, yung mom ko and I, we went to, um, yun nga mga nagpunta, uh, Santa Clara, syempre, to give thanks. Kasi, alam ko, sa sarili ko, I wouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have endured, hindi ko magagawa ang kahit anong na to, kung wala. Si God, wala yung prayers for me, yung sa strength, and, Sobrang strength ang binigay niya for me to be able to push through, for me to be able to, alam mo yun, even go through this and siya talaga eh. Siya talaga to eh. Wala ako. Siya lang, siya lang talaga. So, my last motivational message would be na it's normal to question yourself. However, it shouldn't stop there. Dapat ma-realize mo din na you can do this. Um, no matter no matter how down you feel, no matter how much you question yourself, know that you can do this. Basta keep pushing and keep moving forward. Yun ang pinaka-importante. And also, always assess yourself and know yourself kung um, tama ba tong ginagawa mo? No matter how much you question yourself, kaya mo basta ibigay mo lahat ng pagkatao mo at you focus mo yung oras mo. Bigay mo lahat. Kaya niyan. Kayang, kayang, kaya niyan. Now, let's go to the lightning round! Lightning round! Number one, coffee or tea? Coffee! Number two, library or coffee shop? Library! Number three, sleep or no sleep? Sleep. Definitely sleep. I never made puyat sa buong bar review or law school. Well, siguro mga, siguro in total, mga one week sa buong law school and bar review ako nagpuyat. Ewan ko kung makatulong din yun sa inyo, pero gusto ko nang, gusto ko natutulog, gusto ko yung nare-refresh yung buong pagkatao ko. Question number four, favorite bar subject? Political law, of course, under justice statura. And probably kung meron then, uh, other favorite subject, remedial law under attorney branjal. Last question is, favorite law school professor? Justice Natura and attorney branjal. So, that's it for today's video. Again, I hope that somehow this video was helpful. If it was, do give it a big fat thumbs up. If you haven't watched my bar exam experience part 1, where I talked about my feelings, again, emotions, click, click? please click this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click this and i hope to see you again soon only here on my channel ttyl bye